All right, let's get it going. We're gonna draw the lid. So I'm, I'm gonna draw a sketch and I'm gonna put it on top here. And I'm not gonna rotate to the top just yet because I'm just gonna, oh yeah, maybe I will. And then I will draw a rectangle, go right here and it needs to be a three by five. And I like to type it in. So I'm gonna go five by three and we're good there. I'm gonna move this dimension to the outside. So on, on our lid, it's got to be able to wrap around this, right? And it's got to go on the inside there. So I'm going to use my project lines tool, right? My user project lines. I'm going to project this one. So see, it put that little line there because if we look at the side, it's not, it's not straight below it, right? So it's good that it projected it that way. And I want this edge too, because that's our our edge right here that we're going to need and then i'm going to want this inside edge too okay so same thing on the other side we need this top so we can get that line right there we need this edge right here so it gets this line right here and then i'm going to show you something well it's only happens on the other side i guess and then we'll go right here so we're good to go we got the all the sketch pieces that we need to be able to extrude this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and push green checkbox. I'm going to sketch or uh, extrude and I'm going to select this part first. We're going to get it a little thinner. Eighth inch is how far we're extruding. Missed a couple pieces right here. So if we go in here, look, we want to click on that bottom, but we cannot, right? So we're going to right click. This is a new tool. Select other. And now we can see the other things that we can select. So I want that one right there. And so that did it, it filled that slot in there just fine. And then we need this side as well. So we've got those, uh, that lid piece filled out and we are good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this and then we can see, turn this off. You can see what's going on there. We're gonna clean that up later. So that's gonna work just fine. Now, our next we need to add to this is <laughs> that right there. I didn't get it, so I'm gonna add that to my extrusion as well, right? So that should come out to the end. So I wanna make a little uh, handle piece out here, the, a little a spline, little curve that's gonna be able to use as a handle. So we're gonna draw a new sketch on top of here on this, up, uh, for the top and I'm going to come over here and we're going to draw a spline this tool right here so right here I've got my spline tool and if I click right there I can start it and this is more of an organic tool uh, so we can kind of make different shapes right and we can define all of it or none of it and we'll see that here in a second but when I'm done uh, using this like I don't want to I don't want it to go anywhere else that's the end of it right there I went to the middle I'm going to push the escape key and it'll finish that out I'm still using the tool so I'm going to push escape again and I can still edit this if I grab those nodes so this is going to change that arc right there I can grab this node I'm going to pull it in and then I'm going to pull this one out I'm going to go ahead and dimension this one so that it's from that dot to that edge so that we know how far it is I'm going to go quarter inch and then push escape to get off of the tool or bring this in a little bit and right here i'm gonna bring this right here i want this to stick out like that so play with it figure out what kind of curve you want on there when we are done we're going to mirror this to the other side so how do you do that we need to grab our mirror sketch mirror tool it says select a mirror line and I'm just going to select that center point right and I'm good to go on it and then I can select things to mirror wow it did it it jumped to the other side and it completed it by shading I'm good to go green checkbox then I'm going to go ahead and extrude that last sketch that we made I'm going to flip it over and make it 0.125 as well and we're going to add it to that last one. It automatically did it, but if you need to, you can click on merge and then we want it part of that lid piece. So there we go, green checkbox. Nice, so we did quite a bit of work there. So we made a lid, made just a rectangle, right? 
And when we were making that sketch, oh, I was on nine. When we were making that sketch, we uh, added uh, some extra pieces with the use or project lines so that we could wrap around this donut piece and get that inside. So uh, we created those, we extruded it, we made a new sketch utilizing the line tool. I kind of want to zoom out a little bit. I got that mirror effect right there. And then we extruded that so that we have something to lift up to open our box there. You, it's full. All right. Good luck. Great work. See you next time.